Hi, buddy. This is Mr. Fowley. And welcome to Podcast 3.3. We learn about isotopic notation. Remember, an isotope is... An isotope is um, two atoms, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. That's something you should do if you skip through the slide. Oh, sorry, if you... Average atomic mass, uh, talking about electrons jumping, cations and anions, and get a get, get an periodic table. So here we go. So what does this mean? The this I'm talking about right now is this part right here. This guy right here is the symbol. That S is the symbol. And that symbol for this is sulfur. This right here is the mass of this isotope. It's just one of them. Isotope. And this is the number of protons, which is strongly correlated to this. Okay? So notice sulfur will always have that number right here. Notice this 32.065 on your periodic table is not here. 31. This is the average mass. This is the number of protons. By the way, the number of protons can also be called Z, or it can be called the atomic number. And you should be comfortable with all them called all of these. Now, there is a formula for the mass. The mass equals protons plus neutrons. So if I ask you how many neutrons are in this guy right here, my mass of this isotope is 31, equals the number of protons, 16, plus neutrons, which would be 50. No, it's not. No, I guess it is, but plus n. So 31 minus 16 equals n. n equals 15. Isn't that nifty? Cations and anions. Cations are positive uh, particles. And remember, I remember the way I remember this is if you think of a cat, little whiskers. Cats have paws. Oh, look, the cat has it's positive because he has paws with nails and stuff too. Isn't that clever? Uh oh, I can't look like it's saying something else. Positive particle. An anion is a negative particle. By the way, the way you become a cation is by losing electrons. You become an anion by gaining electrons. And protons never change. Boy, I wish I knew how to pause this thing. Um, how many, oh, do I have a pause button? Eh, I don't know. How many protons, neutrons, and electrons are in chromium 52? Well, you know what? I'm going to have to make this part two, so I apologize. So let's end the show. Toodles, come see part two.